Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So you might be able to tell that I have a cold still. Oh my god, I literally have colds like non-stop. So anyway, this is my second video of Beauty Week. If you didn't know or you didn't see yesterday's video, I am filming five videos this week and it's for Beauty Week. So like Beauty Week in my channel, not in general life. Um, I feel like I'm speaking really loud because I can't actually hear what I'm saying because my ear's blocked. But anyway, so yeah. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something really exciting, and I'm going to be talking about my tattoo. Now, I actually did plan this video, planned exactly what I wanted to say and everything, and then I left the sheet of paper back at the flat at uni, so that's going out the window. So this is going to be freestyle me just discussing my tattoo. When I was younger, I always used to be heavily against tattoos. I always thought that I would never get one. I was very, like... I don't know, anti-tattoo. I just didn't like the thought of somebody putting something on their body that was permanent and I don't know, like, there's a lot of tattoos out there that I don't like and that's probably why. But as I got older, I started to realise that there are some tattoos that I would get more like, like more tattoos that are suited to me because when I thought of tattoos I thought massive big sleeves of tattoos and that's just not me at all on some people that does look good and that's fine but on me that's not what I'm looking for so about I'd say when my mum first got her ta first tattoo which was a few years ago she got like a frog with a dart on it I'll try and insert a picture of mum's tattoo on the screen if I can but yeah, she got like a frog, it had a dart, and it's in re like remembrance of her dad because my grandpa, mum's dad, um, used to like playing darts a lot and he played a lot of darts. So she got that one and obviously that has a lot of meaning to her. So I started to think, well, actually, she will never regret having that tattoo because it's got so much meaning. So I thought, well, I started to think, well, okay, so if a tattoo has meaning, then I'm, then that's okay. So that's when I started to, you know, come around to it a little bit more. And then a, few, a couple of months ago, mum got another couple of tattoos. She got a rose, which was like, hang on, it's like here on her arm. It's um, a rose and it was kind of half matching with her mum, my Nana Pat, because Nana Pat also got a rose, but it looks slightly different. So yeah, mum got a rose and that was for Nana Pat. So now she's got one for both of her parents. So again, that one has meaning. And then on her back here, she got a hippo. I'll insert pictures of all of these, hopefully. She got a hippo. And the reason why she got a hippo, this might be slightly strange, but the reason why she got a hippo was because me and Tommy, my brother, call mum hippo. We don't call her hippo in a nasty way, we just call her hippo in general that's why she got a hippo so that's kind of like for me and tommy if you know what i mean like it's just a hippo you know what i mean it's cute so that's when i thought actually i really like hippos and it would be cool to have a matching tattoo with mum so that's when i decided to get a tattoo i'll put the design that i wanted on the screen now the exact design that we found from the internet literally i did just find it from the internet so that is the exact design and then I thought about getting one myself and I thought, okay, I'll get one within the next year or maybe, you know, the next year after that. So within the next couple of years, wasn't in any rush. But then as time went on, I started to think about it a bit more and I started to get excited for getting a tattoo. And I thought, well, if I'm excited, that means that I do really want this. It obviously has some meaning to me because obviously it matches with mums. So, you know, it's not like I'm going to regret it. And also it's really cute. And then I started to think, okay, so I am going to get this. Where do I want it? So I initially thought on my wrist, so here or here, um, and then I thought, oh, it might be a bit painful and I might get a bit freaked out, because look, having a tattoo here just looks a bit, oh yeah, by the way, my tad is dodgy, um, just kind of makes me feel a bit weird having a tattoo on a new wrist, so I thought, oh, how about having one here? So I was uh, going to have one here, I decided to have it here, as you can tell I didn't, um, but yeah, I was going to have it here on kind of whatever this is called thingy um but I, I did in the end and i decided where i wanted it and me and my friends steph and emma were gonna go all together and get one within the summer or whatever but steph doesn't have a clue what she wants so i thought okay so it might be quite some time and i just thought well maybe we won't get round to it but I was happy to wait and then mum went back to the, the tattoo place that um, she got her tattoos done which is called the t the cat with the tat. Um, I'll link down their Facebook down below if you want to go and have a look. It's in Brig so if you live near Brig in England then um, 
you can go there and check it out or whatever if you're interested um but they're really good and they're very friendly so they did all of mum's tattoos and they did my tattoo so yeah like i said i'll link down their facebook and we went there and mum was literally just going to get a little bit of her tattoo filled in because oh this is eyeshadow by the way um because the rose one because there was a slight line that was a bit fainter than the others so she just wanted to get that kind of gone over a little bit and that is what sometimes happens is that you know after a tattoo has been done it's a little bit fainter than what you perhaps wanted and um, their policy is really good three months after having a tattoo if you aren't happy with anything then they will or you need something like filling in a little bit then they will do it for free so we'll come on to that with me at the end um so that's what mum was doing and whilst i was there mum asked the, the you know the woman that was doing it she was like oh would my daughter be able to have a tattoo because she's thinking of having the same one as me but smaller so the hippo and the woman was like yep yeah, sure yep yeah, of course we can fit you in now if you want and i was like right okay this is happening so it was very like spontaneous because I did know 100% I wanted the hippo. It wasn't like a spur of the moment. I've just decided I want a tattoo and I've just made up a hippo. I ha I did want that for quite some time. So um, she got me to sign out a form, you know, my aged address, where the tattoo is. Originally, I did still think it was going to be here. Um, everything like that, all my details. She ran through kind of what's going to happen and all that sort of stuff. Checked my ID to make sure I wasn't, you know, under... Is it under 16 or under 18? I think it's under 16. Are you are you 16 in England allowed to have a tattoo? Don't know. Um, but I know that some, some people I know had tattoos when they were 16, so I think so. Um, but anyway, so yeah, and then she was like, okay. Oh, hello. I'm filming a video. And then, I, and then she sat me down in the chair and she oh no actually before she sat me down in the chair she got me to send the design that i wanted over to her um on facebook so then she obviously had it so she printed it off and she printed the design of the hippo on like different sizes so that i could choose what i wanted and then i i couldn't decide between two it was a really small one or a slightly bigger one and i couldn't decide so she cut them out and then we put them against my um um, just to see kind of which sizing I would want and then after that I picked the, the slightly bigger one because the small one was a bit too small um, and then I sat down in the chair and what they do is they basically like it's almost like tracing paper it's like they trace over the design exactly so they so that you know that you get the exact design and then they print it onto you so she printed the hippo here and I looked at it and it was a bit too far to like the left or right and then I said and then she said I'll wipe it off and I'll do it again because you know they want to get it right so then she moved it and I was like oh no a bit that way so then she moved it again so she has to rub it off and put it back on again so it is a little bit of a faff sorry um and then that is when i thought well actually i do kind of want it on my wrist but i'm scared it's going to be painful and then she the one of the other tattoo guys was like well if you are going to have a tattoo you might as well get it where you actually want it the pain isn't that bad like it's literally just like 20 minutes of pain for the rest of your life so get it where you want it and then I said okay so would it look better here or here on my wrist and he said definitely on the wrist so that's when everybody decided okay it's going on the wrist um so yeah then I held my arm out I'll use this hand because I don't want to show you the tattoo do you know just yet so I held my arm out like this literally just plain simple i'll insert a picture of me on the screen because i've got a picture of me just holding my arm out and the woman was um just started and i thought it was going to be painful she put some gel on it i'm not too sure what that was for but she put gel on it and then she got the little tattoo pen with the ink and she was did a little trial so she did a little like just tiny just to see how i was with the pain and i didn't even realize that that was her doing it i knew it was a, a slight bit of pain but i didn't realize that was how how it felt to have a tattoo i was so shocked she carried on doing it and to me there was hardly any pain i'm extremely good with pain anyway so like i can hold really hot things and stuff like that because to me in my head i look at pain differently to how other people do to me pain is just 
a feeling it's not necessarily something that hurts too much so to me it doesn't make me want to move my arm away I just put my hand there and it was pain and it's like well this is just pain but it didn't hurt that much it didn't hurt as much as I was expecting I thought I didn't really do my research I'm not gonna lie I thought that 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 the thing would be a needle like I don't know it didn't look like a needle to me it looked like a pen like a little what's it called like an ink pen and it, it to me it was as if she was just drawing a line on me but really slowly and like dragging along before I went in I did actually scratch my arm and I actually drew blood just to try and see the pain levels and I was okay with that even though I drew blood but that was nowhere near as painful as scratching your arm um I would rate the pain for me on my scale of pain which again like I said I'm extremely good with pain a 2.5 out of 10 so yeah here on the wrist was fine it wasn't very uncomfortable some places were more painful than others for example there's like a bone and you see on this side, I don't know where the bone is, it's like here, um, that's where it's most painful where the bone is. So yeah, got it there and she did it and I was really happy with it. Um, it took about 20 minutes for her to do it and I was just chilling, literally like absolutely fine. I think when you're having a tattoo done, the worst thing to do is kind of tense up because I don't know, like it, it will make the pain worse. So just relax. Um, especially if it's on your wrist or something because it's not that painful I know there's other areas like your ribs and stuff that are much more painful so you can't really you know relax uh, but yeah I just like gently let my arm out I'd never moved once don't move because otherwise the ink will just run she said I was really good to tattoo because I didn't move so thanks so yeah and it was really good and then what she did after she'd finished is she put some like gel on it or whatever I don't know what they put on it but you know um and then wrapped it up in cling film and taped it up so yeah and then they gave me like a sheet of aftercare and she told me what to do afterwards like what not to put on it what to put on it when to take the cling film off etc etc I won't go into that because if you want to know that then just research that because I'm sure it's online um but yeah they gave me that and then I left the building and in terms of prices it cost me 30 pounds at the tat with no at the cat with the tat i always say the tat with the cat but that makes no sense at the cat with the tat um they have a minimum spend of 30 pounds but obviously if you get more tattoos and it's within like half an hour or so then it's still 30 pounds so it depends how long it takes them to do it um i think they charge based on the time it takes to do the tattoos after that 30 pound point so yeah, it cost me £30. So this is my tattoo. It is quite small. Um, it's a little hippo. I called it Kutchi because Kutchi means cute. I think that word originates either from Wales or Scotland or Ireland. I can't remember which one. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's hard to show you when I twist my arm. But when it's like out like this, it looks straight in the middle for me. Um, but I will insert pictures. So yeah, I really, really like this. And as you can see, it's just a cute little one. To me, it... It doesn't look like a tattoo, you know, how you envisioned like a big tattoo to look. It just looks like something. It has meaning to me and I really, really like it. And, um, <coughs> sorry, and I'm very, very happy with it. Honestly, no regrets. I woke up like every morning just excited for my tattoo. It has now kind of almost 100% fully recovered. It did take some time to recover because obviously it peels off and stuff like that. You you know, it, it doesn't, you know, just recover straight away. So it took me about a week and a half for this to recover to two weeks. Probably two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Because I got this tattoo done exactly two weeks ago today. Um, there is a slight section, which I'll insert a picture now, where it isn't filled in properly there's a little bit that's kind of missing so again because of their policy I'm going to go back in and they're going to fill that in for free I'll do that in a week or two um and I'm probably going to bring my friends um Steph and Emma because they want tattoos as well so they want to see what the experience is like they probably won't get anything but they just want to see what it's like so I'm probably going to bring those along with me and I might get any other little bits kind of done as well if I notice anything else um, but yeah, overall, super happy with this. No regrets at all. I knew I wouldn't regret it anyway. Um, I think it's just so cute. Like, I don't know. Um, so yeah, would I get any more? Probably. I, 
only would get ones that are small because it's not very noticeable it is very small it doesn't necessarily look like a traditional tattoo um but i would get small ones but they 100 percent have to have meaning i do have a few ideas for things that i could get in the future i'm not going to be getting them anytime soon but things that I could get in the future. So for example, on this wrist, I think I want a kiwi and not the kiwi fruit, it's a kiwi from New Zealand because it's like a little bird and it has two legs. I'll insert a picture of that on the screen, but basically that is what I would get if I was gonna ever get another one. And just because I went to New Zealand when I was 12, it's probably the best experience that I ever had. I honestly, I learned so much and I suppose a trip to New Zealand, I went with my uncle and my cousin, so it was just like a special trip that you'll always remember. Like, I had so many memories, I wrote a diary there, and yeah, honestly, so much happened. So yeah, I think I would get that because that would remind me of New Zealand, and that's also special to me. Um, that's the only other thing I can think of, so I don't think I'm going to be getting much more. Um, places though, I like tattoos. I like tattoos on the wrist, as you can tell. Um, I do also like... It when people get really small hand tattoos so really small ones i wouldn't get any because obviously it can affect jobs and things like that um but if they're really small you know they're not so bad but i like the look of it on some people um if they're small i also like um ones on kind of the shoulders um on the arms here i also like rib tattoos but i do know that they're painful people have them on their feet as well and i like those personally i wouldn't do that i if i'm gonna get a tattoo i will get it so that it can be seen because that's the whole point in getting it for me is because i want people to see it because i like the look of it so it's gonna be mainly round here and here if i was ever gonna get any and like up here and that would be it i think um but yeah so i did ask for questions on instagram so this is like the q a section for my tattoo also i will update you on when i go back to the to the shop or whatever uh, to the tattoo place um i'll update you on how it was getting it kind of filled in might vlog but anyway i'll just see the questions that i got asked okay so um i am gonna say who who asked these questions because I don't think they care for it to be anonymous. Um, but yeah, I asked for a few questions on Instagram. Didn't get too many, um, because obviously there's not really much you can ask apart from what the tattoo is, etc. Um, but my friend Steph, who I was supposed to be going with, said, why didn't you get my initials? Um, why didn't I get your initials, Steph? Well, perhaps because I didn't want to. And uh, maybe, maybe if you get my initials, so... Maybe that would be a good idea. Does anybody ever got their eyelids tattooed? Like, imagine getting it, like a like your initials, like G C on your eyelids. That'd be cool. Um, somebody, Serena said, "What's the meaning behind it?" I have kind of discussed this, but obviously it's because it's matching with my mum's. It's a smaller version of hers, so that's sort of the meaning. And I, we, me and Tommy call them hippo. Um, Ashling McClough said. Do you plan on getting any more tattoos? If so, what ideas have you, do you have? I've already discussed that with the Kiwi. Um, yes, I would in the future, but not anytime soon, I think. Um, and then <clears throat> the final one is from my brother, and he just put why. And I think that means why did I get a tattoo? Um, I've explained in the video. You should get one too, Tommy. You should get one. You should get a massive one, a massive hippo on your face. I know that some people have had tattoos, some YouTubers that I follow, on the inside of their lip, like here. That's just weird. Like, no, thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, I think that is everything. Um, obviously, there wasn't that much to ask because, you know, let's be real. Um, so, yeah, that is everything. So... Thanks for watching this video. If you've got any questions about my tattoo, then leave them down below or anything like that because I will be sure to reply. Um, give the video a like and subscribe. And if you want to stick around, because this is also another video of Beauty Week. So if you want to stick around for the rest of the week because I'm going to be filming many more videos, then please do. So anyway, have a good day. Goodbye. Bye-bye.